Hi and welcome to True Crime, a channel dedicated to the dark underworld of criminal activity carried out by gangsters, mobsters, cartel leaders, and others. John Willis, the white Chinese mafia boss. Get ready to immerse yourself in the gripping world of crime as we unlock the secrets that lie within. Let's get into it. John Willis, a name whispered with reverence in the underworld. Born on May 11, 1971, he embraced a unique identity that reverberated through the vibrant Cantonese language, Fat Guai John, or White Devil John. In the gritty streets of Boston and the bustling alleys of New York, he emerged as an exceptional figure, defying expectations and carving out his place amidst a sea of fierce Chinese mobsters. But how did this enigmatic outsider, the only white individual to infiltrate the intricate world of Chinese organized crime, achieve such an audacious feat? Even seasoned FBI agent Scott O'Donnell, a veteran of the fight against the underworld, stands in awe of this extraordinary case. Throughout his years of service, O'Donnell has encountered the darkest corners of criminality, but the legend of John Willis has left him astounded. He is left pondering, in disbelief, whether he has ever encountered a story quite like that of Willis. What lies behind the veil of this unparalleled saga? To truly comprehend the enigmatic persona of John Willis, we must delve into the crucible of his formative years, where adversity and resilience forged a man destined for a life of unparalleled intrigue. Born and raised in the gritty heart of Dorchester during the tumultuous 1970s, Willis's path was paved with tumultuous twists that set the stage for his extraordinary ascent. At a tender age of two, Willis confronted an early hardship when his father vanished, leaving behind an irrevocable void that haunted him throughout his youth. Raised by a resilient mother, he learned the harsh realities of survival in the concrete jungle, where every step demanded resilience and resourcefulness. Tragedy struck once again when fate cruelly snatched his mother away when he was just 14. Suddenly thrust into a world defined by unforgiving unpredictability, young Willis grappled with the weight of solitude. However, it was within the depths of this darkness that his indomitable spirit took root. Navigating the labyrinthine streets with unwavering determination, Willis transformed every setback into a stepping stone, forging his character through sheer resilience. Yet, the defining moment of his life unfolded within the seedy confines of a notorious bar frequented by Chinese mobsters, an unlikely crossroads that would alter the trajectory of his existence forever. Picture the tension rising, fists clenched, chaos teetering on the edge. In the midst of this swirling vortex of violence, Willis, working as a bouncer, fearlessly stepped forward. In a moment of sheer audacity, he intervened in a vicious brawl, aligning himself with the enigmatic Chinese gangster known as Vaping John Joe. Unbeknownst to Willis, this fateful act would seal his destiny, weaving his life into the intricate tapestry of Chinese organized crime. As we navigate the intricate layers of John Willis' story, we are left pondering the very essence of identity and destiny. How does an outsider transcend the boundaries of a closed world and leave an indelible mark upon it? Within the labyrinthine world of crime, John Willis was bestowed with a cryptic card, a symbol of trust and allegiance. The enigmatic number inscribed upon it held the key to a hidden realm, a sanctuary for those in need. When life dealt him a devastating blow, leaving him destitute and vulnerable, Willis made that fateful call. But little did he know that he was about to embark on a journey that blurred the lines between reality and fiction. Transported to an undisclosed location, Willis found himself immersed in the inner sanctum of the formidable Ping-On gang. Bound not by blood but by clandestine ties, this family welcomed the outsider into their fold. Fate had intervened, forever intertwining. Willis with the shadowy existence of this Chinese underworld, Amidst the pulsating heart of New York City, where towering skyscrapers loomed and the streets throbbed with an unmatched intensity, Willis was thrust into the tumultuous world of the city's criminal underbelly. As a newly initiated member of the Chinese Mafia, his path took an unexpected turn as he became the trusted bodyguard and bagman for a powerful gangster operating in the shadows. In this concrete jungle, Willis recognized the power of communication as the key to his success. 
Driven by an insatiable thirst for knowledge and an unwavering determination, he embarked on a linguistic odyssey, immersing himself in the intricacies of Cantonese and Toisonese dialects. Language became his gateway to the hidden world, forging connections and earning the respect of his Chinese counterparts. With every conversation and whispered negotiation, Willis solidified his position and elevated his status within the labyrinth of Chinese organized crime. But his hunger for knowledge knew no bounds, and he ventured beyond the confines of language, delving into the complexities of Vietnamese, further expanding his reach and influence. Destiny's tides eventually pulled Willis back to his hometown of Boston, where he found himself entangled in a web of power and chaos. The city's Chinatown, a simmering cauldron of rivalries and shifting alliances, became the stage for a gripping turf war that would shape the course of Willis's criminal career. Amidst narrow alleyways and dimly lit back rooms, Willis reunited with Bai Ming, an old acquaintance navigating the treacherous landscape of Boston's underworld. Unbeknownst to them, fate had different plans in store. As rival factions clashed and violence escalated, the turf war claimed lives, leaving only a select few standing amidst the carnage. In the midst of chaos, Willis emerged as Bai Ming's unwavering right-hand man, a position that thrust him into the spotlight and elevated his standing within the intricate hierarchy of Chinese organized crime. Each passing day bolstered his influence, solidified his reputation, and extended his power over the dark recesses of Boston's Chinatown. As the city reverberated with violence and whispers of treachery, Willis stood at the epicenter, a figure feared and respected in equal measure. The shifting alliances and blood-soaked streets became the backdrop to his ascension, his unyielding loyalty to Bai Ming cementing his status as a force to be reckoned with. But amidst the calculated moves and ambitions, a question lingers, how far would one go for love? In the treacherous world of Chinese organized crime, where loyalty is paramount and betrayal a constant threat, John Willis defied all expectations. He chose to protect the love of his life, forsaking his own freedom in the face of justice. As the wheels of the FBI investigation turned, unraveling Willis's illicit empire, he made a decision that would reshape his destiny. Guilty pleas echoed through the courtroom, bearing the weight of his crimes without remorse. Regret was foreign to him, for he had chosen a love that surpassed all else. The story of the White Devil transcends mere glimpses into the inner workings of the Chinese Mafia. It is a raw and unfiltered confession from Willis himself, laying bare the intricate relationships and sins committed. Unyielding in his loyalty, he vows never to betray his brothers, even if it means facing the consequences of his actions. But his conviction did not mark the end of his legacy. Behind prison walls, Willis's thirst for power remained unquenched. From within those confines, he orchestrated an audacious Oxycontin trafficking ring, spanning states and defying the confines of his cell. Prison could not contain his insatiable hunger for the forbidden. The gavel's resounding thud in August 2013 sealed his fate once again. A 20-year sentence for his role in the $4 million drug ring and charges of money laundering awaited him. Today, within the walls of Canon USP, he bides his time, counting down to his projected release date in 2028. And so concludes our journey into the captivating life of John Willis, the enigmatic white devil of the Chinese Mafia. But his story is far from over. Warner Bros. takes the reins, bringing his extraordinary life to the silver screen, promising a cinematic masterpiece under the skilled direction and writing of James Gray. For those thirsting for more, Bob Halloran's true crime book, White Devil, provides a key to unlock the depths of Willis's story. Released by Ben Bella Books, this meticulously researched account delves into the intricate details of his life, offering a riveting exploration of his crimes, relationships, and the extraordinary events that shaped his enduring legacy. Thank you for watching another amazing video from our true crime team. Like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned to our next real-life true crime video. If true